Should I stay or should I go now? Should I stay or should I go now? simple. You vote for where I go and what I do, and I'll take care of the rest. So the challenge was getting from Panama to Colombia, but that is not as easy as it sounds. There is a hundred miles of swampy jungle and mountainous terrain between these two nations, with no roads, few inhabitants, and zero laws. This is infamously known as the Darien Gap, one of the last truly wild and most dangerous places on the planet. The Gap is home to some of the nastiest wildlife and deadliest diseases, but has become most notorious for its hostile people. This hostility primarily stems from the leftist guerrilla group FARC, the right-wing paramilitary, and thieving bandit groups whose lost ideals and agendas now will seem to revolve around money, kidnapping, and the trafficking of drugs. You voted for me to jump a cargo ship, so we are attempting to head down the Pacific coast, trying to get as close to the gap as possible. Looks like we scored tickets on a boat. I'm not exactly sure when it's going. It might go this afternoon. We're still at the fish market. Still waiting for a boat. So this boat took us to this boat where we slept under the stars on some metal contraption anywhere we could find space. It was a little cramped, a little hot, a little ghetto, a little toxic. And a long 18 hours later, we made it to Hake. First thing we see is a wanted sign. Notice how the guy's just been crossed off? Hmm, what the hell'd he do? On that note, let's check out the town. We are in the heart of it. The most dangerous, horrible, awful kind of people. I've heard that. Possibly, Very hostile towards us, aren't they? What is this? No, no, no. Laundry mat of the Darien. As you can see, this old man is doing his laundry. The only car in town. <laughs> this is one of three restaurants. It's a hot dog stand. And you have to bring your own bun. <laughs> We're going to the internet cafe. Literally here. This is where you can catch a signal. The only place in Hake. Surrounded by big mountains, all jungle, and we're at a military posting. Town, like 2,000 people, fairly big electricity and everything. No roads, rivers, anything out of here. Now, I know I was supposed to stick with a cargo boat, but being down here, neither of us could resist the temptation of the jungle. We're actually looking into making the trek into Colombia, but it's not looking good. Everyone's telling us that if they find out we're even here, they could come into town and just grab us, so we might find us. On closer inspection, we realized just how deep, dense, and swampy this jungle really is, and that it would be impossible without a guide. Extremely daunting. I don't even know how you would walk through there in the first place. It would be hell. It would be absolute hell, I think. Your thoughts? I agree. It's, uh, but there definitely is something magic about it. So after several days of asking around town, nobody was willing to take us. But we were determined to find a way into the gap. Trying to arrange a trip downriver and staying in a tribal village for a couple of days. Long process. We couldn't find a captain that would take us. And then you need special permission from the police a.k.a. the army. They don't just let you go anywhere. You need a police permission to walk to the end of the beach here. That's how serious they take all this. Hello. No, I'm going to go to the beach. 
and the military just stopped us, pulled us in for about 45 minutes. And just problem after problem, didn't understand what was going on, and now they're sending two armed military guys with us overnight for protection. And I'm not allowed to film them, but we'll see about that. <laughs> They're a little bit worried about our security, that he doesn't recommend. Sorry. So we're going to go anyway with armed guards. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, they're making it impossible for us to move, you know? No escape in this. Oh, 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 two keys, mother. Oh, the beat nuts, y'all. Well, we didn't make it yet. We're allowed to go. We're allowed to go. <laughs> That's the first big step. I can't believe they're sending these two with us. I just saw him put four magazines into his backpack. I like the way they call it. Freaks me out. The heat we fry you with straight from the armory. Guerrilla army, we kill tracks in harmony. Thanks for choosing my adventure. Now stay tuned by subscribing to the site. I'd kind of like to know who I'm connecting. Until then, this is Grant, connecting up.